Hey everybody, this is Les, aka Sister Slayer, here with the Bitten Apple TV in conjunction with It Came From The Radio. And we are here at EtonerCon, and I am with the most famous, Mr. Ken Kelly. Now, I don't know if you know him, but you may know his art. One of the things that Mr. Kelly is known for is doing cover art for the band Kiss. Look at this. Freaking unbelievable art, yeah. He also is known for his sword and sorcery type, uh, you know, illustrations, kind of like similar to when you say sword and sorcery, like uh, Conan the Car Barbarian or uh, He-Man, that type of stuff like that, right? Uh, exactly, right. exactly. So when you started out, tell me a little bit, you started out doing the sword and sorcery stuff first, or what did you start off doing first? I started in a horror, horror company, and uh, I had just gotten out of the middle t military. I was a young married. Uh, you have to find something to do with your life, and I had uh, talent, but it was very raw, very unnurtured, and I had to just start someplace. So this very small company, uh, Warren Publication, hired me because of a because I did a cover uh, and went in to get it approved. He not only gave me paid me for that cover, but he gave me 13 more to do which shocked me, my wife, and everyone. But that was like an indication that this is it, this is time to get started, this is time, if you're ever gonna show you stuff, this is it. So that's, I started in a horror uh, magazine industry, and I stayed in it for five years. No, wait, listen, this is what I have to be very honest about. When I did come by the booth, the first thing that I noticed was his old school horror uh, uh, his beautiful portraits of hor old school horror uh, mavens, Universal. like a big people in the universe. Or monsters and simple horror things. They're very simple, scary, but that's what made young people pick up books. Yep. There you go. I am telling my age, but yes, I was I was terrified. Don't tell them mine either. So, <laughs> <laughs> so none of that going on. So tell us. Look, go ahead. Tell me what so happened. I I am struggling in an apartment, and I had a day job. At lunchtime on the day job, I would take the artwork, which I had in my car, get on the Long Island Railroad, draw, uh, go into Manhattan, deliver the artwork to the company, pick up another job, come back, be late for work, but they let me, uh, finish the job at 5 o'clock, go home, start the art, and then at 7 o'clock at night, you had to go to the night job, which is a part-time job in a, a toy store. I think it was Corvettes at the time. I don't want to give away my age, so just drop that. That'll be edited out. Anyway, so I'm working like this at a feverish pitch, doing probably two a week covers. And I didn't know that larger people in, in a larger world were looking at the newsstands where my work was being uh, uh, shown and offered for sale. And they took that up to their offices and someone picked me out of a group of artists and said we want to try him, and that would be uh, Bill Coin, Peter Chris, Gene Simmons, Kiss. And it happened just like that. They put their finger on my work, and that gave me 30 days, 30 days to do whatever they wanted and have it done and ready for publication, which I did, but it was the hardest 30 days of my life. But that's what changed everything everything so was it their concept like they would tell you okay this is a concept that we have for the cover art or did you come up with the concept and then you went to them and you said this is what i think you know based on what you guys are coming out with what you guys are putting out on on the vinyl this is what i'm gonna do what what, what was that like all right i'm not used to any real life as an artist because i'm working for this horror company yeah. so i go my wife and i travel up uptown park avenue 45th street and right by the address where we had to go were all these Rolls Royces. Well, that scared the bananas out of me. And no, I didn't come up with anything because you just don't tell Rolls Royces when you're traveling in 
uh, old shoes <laughs> what to do. So they said uh, they wanted uh, the four guys in the group abreast and of equal stature. Their only uh, desire was, because one was very tall, one's a little shorter, one's tougher, one's this, so they had their individuality. And you know who you are. They know who they are that's tougher, taller, and uh, shorter. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we but still anyway, love you. <laughs> um, I, I, I went home with that information and put a rough together and came in and they said, okay, do it. So I went home and two weeks later I came back with this piece of work. This is called, nowadays it's called Kiss Brown. It was the first original piece of art I did for the group. They paid me, I went home, and a week later, they told me it was rejected by the label. Whoa. That was the fastest art career I ever had in my life. I thought, jump out the window, because it's over. But, lucky but, lucky but, but, the reason it was rejected was that the group is too close to the burning building behind them. And the label, Casablanca, was worried that the parents of the children buying these albums would think they were really a violent group, which was a valid claim. Now, I still thought I was dead meat, but they said, no, Ken, we're going to do it over, and we're going to take the group further away from the uh, catastrophe behind them. Hence, we have four men Basically the same men, in the same pose, a mile away from anything damaging. And because I had an extra month to do a new cover, they decided to change costumes. I mean, why the hell make it easy for Ken? But it didn't matter, you couldn't stop me then. <laughs> and this became Destroyer. The colors went from brown to blue. I thought the brown, I, I'm gonna keep my opinions to myself, but I thought the first one was really the one I put all the effort, strain, everything. This is a copy if I, in my world. I'm gonna get in trouble for this. No, but you know what's really funny about it? They were worried about the fire. They weren't even worried about the group. They were worried about the fire behind them. How hilarious is that? Well, the, the mothers turned out that half of the, my, I've heard 10,000 stories if I've heard one about their parents throwing out the album as soon as they brought it home or hiding it or not letting them have it on except a certain day of the week. And I'm like, wow, where were we in 1975? But we were. There was no MTV, no social network, no computers. You put that RPM on the machine, put the little little needle, needle, needle with good, the and then what did you do? All you had to do was sit and look at the album cover. And they fell in love with it. God bless their soul. God bless the million little nasty, wonderful things that they were for disobeying their parents and getting this album. All these rock and rollers out there. Yeah. Yes. Thank God for you. There you go. All right. There you go. Okay. So now that took you from from this cover to one of the things that I really loved about this one. Oh. This one right here. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. This is like this one. Well, there's a, there's a whole history to this because. Um, after I finished, after I finished this, after I finished this one, everything was all good and crazy. Now, I don't know anything about music. Well, I know Elton John and the Eagles and guys like that, all right? The Rolling Stones, but Kiss, I don't know men with, no, with red makeup, with seven inch heels, spandex, and everything's really too tight. So I didn't think they were going to make it. So I just walked out with my check. And I was gone for, for about two years and I had no, now you got to remember, there's no real communication in the world. So you don't know who's doing well and who's doing bad. I didn't know that went double platinum. That means millions of records were sold. Well, when I get back, two years later, they decided they wanted me to do another cover. Well, I thought there was still the Backstreet Band that I had saw the first time. So I came in with a Backstreet cover. This is an alley with the group standing below a, a lit a stage door light. And the, the, the groupies are around them. 
and such I, debauchery. Yeah, to total debauchery, total debauchery. And there's more debauchery in it than I thought there was because some of it is actually just erasers, but they're in funny places. Because yeah. I never, you gotta understand, I'm a young married guy and my wife is like, you ain't doing that, dude. Okay, so now they told me, this is when I learned that Kiss was rich. I didn't know Kiss was rich a day before I walked in there, but when I walked into this major office, which was up to, even further uptown, and instead of it being a little office, it was like grand. There was telephones in the bathroom, fresh flowers delivered every day, boardrooms. This is what this is what rock stars dream about. Kiss had it. Oh my God. Well, I just heard a story from a member of the band, and he knows who he is, and I won't give him up ever because I love him. That while all the big wigs were talking about money and this and business, the guys were drawing little porno, little little girl, and it was whatever. However, you can edit that. But we were drawing things, and that had nothing to do with business. That's rock and roll. Yeah. So they didn't want this cover. I had to do much more. Ken, we're bigger, we're richer, we're, we're just more grand, we're great. So I want, uh, this is Gene, pillars and, and a big stage and girls, but, but not like this. Okay, so, what, so ended, what ended up happening there? I had to go home and my wife and I, my wife and I had to go into Manhattan to get some of the... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, a normal young guy now, so I'm not into fetish leather or, you know, it took a long time to learn those words. And I did four years in the Marine Corps, and it never, ever, anyway, they wanted this, so my wife and I had to go to the village to get those little filthy magazines that have people dressed in this stuff and brought it home. And then my wife had to pose. Well, my wife, my wife caught a cold. A really, really bad cold. Now you remember, I have 30 days. She had to get out of bed, get up, go in the living room, and I had a four by eight board on the couch to the floor to get those angles where they're leaning on steps. She hated my guts. She told me she'd never forgive me for this. She was dripping, she was just horribly sick. And I made her pose for these, all the girls, and then and delivered it, finished it, and actually I didn't finish it. I took so long to do this, maybe 31 days. They sent a truck with a driver out to Long Island with the house I bought from the first, from the other, <laughs> good. So they sent a truck out, had the driver, they said just go in the house, don't even tell them what it is, go in the house, get the painting, put it in the truck and bring it back to Manhattan, and that's what they did. And I was working on it. I was working on Peter's vest. This is a little incomplete here, and I wanted to more detail, and the gentleman took this gigantic painting off my easel and walked out of the house, and I looked at my wife and I said, I guess we're done. And they sent me a check, never had a contract, never anything written, and this one went platinum, so. What? Look at that. I mean, amazing, amazing. So you never had any experience with this. So this was your initiation into rock and roll, right? Rock and roll. Yeah, now you are rock and roll royalty because of this. Now I'm the kiss guy. I'm, I'm the destroyer artist or the kiss artist. And I'm like, and I've done 30 years of Man of War covers. I can't even imagine how many I've done for other groups. Uh, all four years strong, Coheed and Cambria. Excuse me. And just, I, I do it to this day. I have three at home that I'm working on. Just got the okay on one last night. Yep, doing I'm music. Do I listen to it? No. Do you, and you don't experience it. You, you don't know what you're missing. Listening, you know, listening to, rock, not listening to rock and roll. You don't know what you're missing. Well, I listen to old world rock and roll. Rock and roll. Uh, George Michaels, uh, old world. I'm sorry. I like I, I like old world. I don't. I don't want. Don't yeah, yeah. Too much. Like, yeah. No headbanger music. Yeah, yeah. I can see guys doing that, and if you're high on something really special, maybe you'll do that. But if you have a normal mind, that hurts. So. It sure does. So, that you did great. So I want to know where can we follow you? Where are you going to be next? I know you're working right now. So. 
Do you have social media? Do, are you on social media? Are you doing anything oh. like that? Oh, I have a Facebook page, which I cannot give you the title to, but it's Ken Kelly. Uh, uh, KenKellyFantasyArt.com is my website. Lots of stuff there. Um, I think I'm on a couple of, because I have people taking care of that. Yeah. Because I, uh, you know, I just can't. But, but listen, I know, I know one thing. If you pull him up in Google, you're going to find Ken Kelly. I mean, oh, yeah. his art is beautiful. That's a cool thing. Yes. I never even dreamed I would be a Google artist. Yeah. I mean, when they ask me something, I could, you could Google with me. Yeah. And I'm like fascinated that that, that, that could happen. It's like, yep. wow, what a world. And then you're going to go back home and you don't even know. No. You're like, you know. Nothing. Nothing at home is nothing. I watch Netflix. I actually like soap operas but international soap operas. So because I'm working, I don't want noise, so I have it on silence, but I'm watching maybe Japanese, Korean, whatever it is, and it's a continuation, 34 year, you know, yeah, yeah. episodes. And they usually stop their episodes, thank God. They don't go on and on like soap operas here. I could, I could pause it, so and then put my head down for a couple hours and work and look up and I get that right that next second on whatever she was going to say to the guy, and I don't, I don't even understand language, but you could tell if you watch it long enough, you can follow the story, and you know you're perceptive. That's the reason why you're perceptive is because you're an artist, oh. and you you just happen to have your your finger on the pulse of things that people need, and that's what's amazing about you. Well, what I do is I talk to the people I work with or want to work with me and I try to get into their head. I try to see where, what is it you like, what don't you like, which way do you lean. Then I'll do a, a pencil rough for them. And I had a, the, the, the one the other night that just got approved, he was talking about 1980 speakers in a wreck city and, and they wanted somehow to put themselves in that. And while he was talking on the phone, I was drawing. Because it's three characters. Are we? Do we ask who this person is? Do we dare ask? I'm odd. Uh, no. There. Okay, okay, he said no. So we'll find out though. But the next time, uh, when he sent me an email and I sent him my email, and when the pictures were joined, it made the whole painting. Because he had the background, I had that. We were on the same page. You had the skill. But it's critical that you try to understand what they're telling you. Because it's so easy to think you're that hot stuff that, and that's the end of you. Yeah. So I'm so glad that you've kept humble because these stories are really fascinating. I, I love that. I love it. Can't make this stuff up. You can't. I mean, that's a magical story, got, by the I way. Got, I got better ones, but not. Well, oh, oh. So we're gonna do a follow up on some better <laughs> stories. Now that you said that, because we will be talking for well, hours. Next April, I'm going to uh, Europe, Germany, for a couple of weeks with Man of War as their guest, and that's enough of that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh wow, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna follow you. And when, what, are you gonna be in another con anytime soon so we can follow up with I you? I have one, yeah, I have several, but other people take care of that. There's one in Florida in September, there's one in New Orleans in November, there's something in August, I don't know, and then I think there's another in September, but they tell me like a month in advance and then I get ready. You do it. Okay, so we're going to have to follow him when he's here in the East Coast, you know, until Big uh, Big Apple gets big enough where we can travel on the plane and go to other stuff like that when we get big. All right. So you guys take a bite out of this artist right here, the most famous, Mr. I'm just, some, I'm just so excited that we got this interview. <laughs> we're going to follow you. Good. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you for the stories. Oh, oh I got plenty of them. I got plenty of them. All right, guys. All right, guys. So we'll see fun. you later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, you guys.